And today we got a little bit of sunshine earlier this morning, but now starting to see those clouds drifting back in. And with it, it's gonna come some rain shower activity too. It's all associated with this area of low pressure that's slowly making its way, kind of at a turtle's pace going over Michigan today. But there's precipitation wrapping around behind it. That's gonna lead to some spotty showers over the rest of the afternoon. So as we take a look here at Future Track, we do have a couple more dry hours. I think it's gonna be until about two o'clock. That's when we start to see the first of these kind of very isolated uh, little cells of some mainly light rain showers rolling through and then it's just going to be kind of hit or miss from there on out. Here's four o'clock. So starting to see, you know, city markets starting to kick in. So could see a spotty rain shower roll across uh, really much of the area. Here's about 530 again, still seeing very isolated activity. So it's not going to be widespread and it's not necessarily going to be particularly heavy. There could be one spotty uh, shower that does get a little heavy at times, but they'll be quickly moving out of there. So you just head inside for a little bit just to avoid the rain and then you can come right back out again once it moves out and especially once we head after sunset things will be clearing out as the showers just start to dry out as that sun begins to set at about 8 30. So over the rest of the afternoon just keep it in mind do have a stray shower rolling through otherwise temperatures staying in the 70s and also fairly breezy with sustained winds 10 to 15 miles per hour could have some gusts up to 25 miles per hour at times so you may need to keep a good hand on the umbrella if you've got it out later on this afternoon. Tonight, once those showers clear out, skies turn partly cloudy, temperatures down to the low 60s overnight, so fairly comfortable night overnight. And then heading into tomorrow, partly cloudy skies hang around, and that helps boost our temperatures with a little more sunshine, up to 81 degrees. We stay dry throughout the day, and then heading into Sunday. That's going to be our next day to see some potential scattered showers and thunderstorms with temperatures staying in the 80s. And an early look at future track shows, we could see a first wave of, of showers coming in on Sunday morning. Now this will be weakening in intensity and quickly moving out. Could be nearing the Chicago area early in the afternoon, so we'll just have to watch that NASCAR race a little closely. Though future track does show that things clear out in time for the race. And then notice throughout the afternoon, we're mostly clear, so we could be able to, once we get out of the morning activity, be able to get out all clear with the, with the afternoon, I should say. Then heading into Sunday night into early Monday morning, that would be our next chance for some showers and thunderstorms. And some of these will likely linger throughout the day heading into Monday. So if you're looking for a good day to get the lawnmower out, get some yard work done today and tomorrow, probably your best days. Just watch out for those spotty showers today before that rain and, and thunderstorm activity rolls in Sunday into Monday. Temperatures stay in the 80s throughout next week. And in your most accurate 10 day forecast, we'll notice those temperatures keep on climbing, Ethan we could be knocking on the door of 91 week from today.